Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Concorp Live Broadcasting Center, high above the battlefield whoa, 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 here. Whoa, 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 The camera's not on. Okay, all right. Oh my okay. God, what kind of intro. professional broadcast is this? The teams are assembling in their bases as we speak to determine who will be the second best team. Because Concorp won this war long before it ever started. That's right. Long, long ago, Concorp claimed victory in this war, and I'm going to be honest, no one else has come close ever since. I mean, from that first moment of the war, Concorp was on top, and we've stayed on top the entire time, the entirety of the war. But not only that, Scar, we've been very fair and very just to all teams throughout this entire war. One of my favorite parts about this war, Cub, is the fact that I barely even participated, but I'm also a winner, and I take much yeah. pride in that. Yeah, you should. You should. I mean, you played a vital role in not doing things. By the way, I'm going to point out, you know how we're not only rich by this war, right? But we're right. also in good health. I see some of these other teams. They've taken a lot of licks. You know, they're walking around with a, with a crutch. They got a sling on their arm. But we up here in our ivory tower with our diamonds, it's never good to participate in a war. It's good to be on the back end, huh? Running mm -hmm. it with the strings mm -hmm. high above. By the way, it's not easy to make cake in high altitude up on this tower. That was the hardest yeah. thing about this build. Yeah, we had to import it from the factory, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we got we got some some cake over there, you know. We got some refreshments for the crew and stuff, so it's all good. Um, speaking of diamond scar, Concorp has made so many diamonds from this war. We also uh, have actually implemented a betting station that uh, some of the teams were able to bet on themselves to win the war. Should we go and check that out? Let's go check out our sponsor, Best Team Betting. We're live here on the battlefield in front of Best Team Betting and Cub. It looks like some changes to the betting windows have occurred. So let's take a look That's at right. this. Yeah, I'm very excited to see how many diamonds people have bet and what the current score is. It looks like we got somebody. This sign says all bets are off per MLB Hall of Fame voters. Hmm. There's an anvil here. Yeah, I was going to say, that looked like a little bit of a trap, I'll tell you that right now. Um, and hmm. start team here, there's roses in here, Cub. There's roses. Is there really? Pete Rose, Pete Rose taller. So Pete Rose was a baseball player who bet on baseball. This has to be a Joe Hills thing, for sure. Oh, Joe. But he didn't read the book. <laughs> he didn't read the book. Only diamonds are allowed to be bet in here, so all mm -hmm. these bets in here are disqualified. What's in here? Buckets? Pete Rose buckets, there's hmm. diamonds, there's flowers. So we got to take those out. Those are not allowed. Apparently, G Team did not bet anything. So it looks like Star Team is the best team confirmed right yep. there. Best and team. They bet, yeah, they bet 39 diamonds. So if they win, they get uh, they get 17 diamonds uh, from us, from, from Concord. People thought we were going to somehow rig this. No, we're a legitimate company. Very fair to both sides. Yeah, I can't believe people thought we would cheat people. First of all... This is a legitimate business. Second of all, we're hydrating people with these drinking fountains. And nobody really took advantage of that here on the battlefield. You must maintain hydration at all times here on the battlefield. Now that we know, we can we can take these diamonds here. We'll keep these in a secure location. And uh, yeah, we'll pay out if the star team wins. If they lose, though, then they lose everything. So then we keep oh. the diamonds. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all gone. So you want to send it back to the broadcast center? Welcome back to the Concord Broadcasting Center, Scar. We have a Mexican standoff. Look. Get the number of people on the server. That right there is the most amount of people I've ever seen AFK at once. Also the man, most amount of people oh I've ever man. seen. <laughs> that is very yeah. exciting to see how many people are on the server. And it is looking like a good day for war. It really is. It really is. Uh, we can go live now to the G team's base. And it looks like we have, yeah, some people taking a collective poop before the battle on their giant toilets. What do you think <laughs> about that? Is that a good move for him? You know, I still don't understand the pigs. What are the pigs' roles in the toilet? You know, you see them down there, and I'm still confused by that, but I notice they do have a lot of food in there. I like that. Staying, mm. staying, keeping the nutrition up. Not as good as cake. Our cake here has vitamins for war. Then nobody came over here to eat any. And let's, let's also check in with Star Team. Star Team looks like they're chowing down on some pork chops on top of the giant turtle, one of the slowest land animals known to man. Interesting <laughs> choice for that base, don't you think? Yeah, I, I still don't know why the turtle comes in, but, uh, you know, if that works for them, if that, that gets the, the inner warrior spirit going, I like it. And also, I do want to point out, they have the most ferocious weapons I've ever seen. 
It is, it is going to be a formidable thing for G-Team. G-Team is like the Apple product of this war. They are beautiful, but functionable, questionable. Yeah, this standoff, we don't know how long it'll last, so we're going to stick it out here, and we'll bring you an update once we see some action. We are back here at the Broadcast Center, and we have been waiting for four hours for anything to happen between these two teams, Cub. It's been a long time. Had had a lot of bathroom breaks. We ate a lot of cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at the cake. To, uh, see this thing get started, man. It's disappearing. I've also had to put batteries in my golden microphone here. That's how long oh, it's taken yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. So yep. you ready to do something to instigate a little action? I'm ready. I'm ready. Should we do this? Oh, yeah. Back at the broadcasting center here, I'm looking over G-Team and Cub is over at... We're looking at Star Team. We're looking at Star Team. We got some major action going on over here. Looks like Doc heading for the super weapon alongside Wells. Ren Dog also there, sporting his little Ren t-shirt. Very, <laughs> very classy. Class, classy wearing that into battle for sure. I bet he's, do I bet he's doing some, some beats while he's walking. He's like, little Ren, it's, it's, little Ren, it's, it's. You know, I'm over here looking at GT man, and there's nothing going on. Oh, oh, somebody oh. emerged from the base, and they have jumped into the moat for a quick little swim, clean in their armor. It looks like Zombie Cleo moving out towards the Ooh. main gate. No oh, other I see, I see. action. I see. You know what? I think I see. I see an oh. impulse manning his gas cannon up there, looking quite majestic up there. I must add. My looks goodness. like he's followed by False on the opposite side. I also have. Team Roof at the moment, rocking Wither Skeleton heads, except for Iskull. He is the rebel of the group, not choosing to wear the same skull as everyone else, and they're overlooking everything. Zombie Cleo has made it to War of the Store, taking some oh, arrows. Yeah. Taking some fire, taking some fire. She's even, she's not, total disregard for her own oh. safety. Oh man, Impulse coming in with the gas cannon, jeez. What a guy. You know what? I'm going to go in for an interview, Scar. As Cub is doing the interview, we're watching Grian down here on the ground, building up barricades as a Minecon caped wielding action figure of some kind is moving close up to the walls. I think that is a Joe Hills. Looks like decoys here in the Star Ford, but the real guys are up there at the top. False and Impulse punching away. Apparently, that's some kind of mechanism to activate the gas cannon. Still haven't used the Concorp rockets at the moment. And War of the Store, full of armaments. Who will actually use those armaments is anyone's question. It looks like that is actually Jevin moving off to the far right side. And oh my gosh, we've got Grian bringing in the pain to the walls. TNT is about to go off here as Ren Diggity Dog puts down the pain with the super weapon as it's arranged. They better hurry as Grian is infiltrating the base with the broken walls. Cub, coming back into the broadcasting center here. Tell me what was going on there, Cub. Impulse is feeling confident. He's got that swagger with the uh, the gas cannon up there. So, yeah, it looks like, oh, it looks like the drone may have already hit. <laughs> the drone strike may have come early. Oh. And it did. It did come early. Yes, it did. <laughs> did it meet any casualties? It doesn't look like it. Man, oh, man. Look out. Look out. G-Team now placing down defensive barriers here. That is quite something. That is quite something. As you were interviewing, Green came in there and destroyed their walls with TNT. It was a very, very clutch move. Rin Diggity Dog, part of the Beat Squad, is still preparing to ramp up the super weapon, it looks, as Doc is inside of it. There may be technical difficulties. Oh, or, or are they going to launch themselves with the super weapon? That right there it, is a very interesting question. Would it then become a super duper weapon? That's the question we need to ask ourselves, Scar. I think so. Interesting development over here. There is lava and bridges being built over at Star Team Base. False holding it down. Apparently, these were built by G Team. Oh, snap. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Suma. Suma's placing down lava over his own moat. Bold move. Bold move. We'll I'd like to actually hear from G Team because they are not doing anything over at their base. I'm going to ask Iskel if he'd like to be on TV. What are you guys doing to protect your base? You got Ijevin yeah. over here doing some work. It looks like he's about to die. Work. Yeah, no, he's good. He's good. I'm, I got faith in my uh, in my teammates. Uh, Jevin got a very uh, strong sword, so I, you know, I got I got my hopes up tonight. We got a we got a good team on our on our side tonight. So uh, yeah. That's a good. I like that. We did see a clutch move by Green taking down the walls of Star Team base. There we go. You, you know, I, I don't even know what the Strawberry Blonde is doing. I'm just trusting him, being a forward here and, and taking the shots and making sure to uh, score them for the hometown tonight, the, the G town. So uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, really, it's looking really good. I got my hopes up. What's your next move, Iskel? 
Um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm a defender, I'm gonna sit back, make sure they can't infiltrate our base, and, uh, yeah, probably take care of these witches. Alright, we have a few questions from the audience, and they ask, Will you be taking on the MVP of Hermitcraft PvP, False Symmetry, at any time during this battle? This is a question from the audience. If the, uh, if the, if the, if the chances, opportunity arises, I, I'll be sure to, I'll be sure to take that fight. I, I ain't backing down from, uh, from that. I ain't backing down from that fight, no. Well, this has been Scar from the field. Iskel very confident if False enters the battlefield also. We'll throw it back up to Cub. Welcome back, by the way. I saw it was getting a little crazy down there. There were some charge creepers. Oh, it was, it was dangerous down there, but it was good to hear from a teammate um, down below from the G team. So we got a little perspective from them. What is going on down here? It looks like mass chaos. It does. It does indeed. Uh, we have Jevin and Cleo sort of tag teaming it right here in front of the star team base. And Joe Hills was killed trying to hurt Asuma. That is another G team death. So that is G team four deaths remaining, four lives remaining. Yep, looks like the whole G team is heading over right now. They are making a assault on, on the starbase. On the starbase, it's looking like. Let's go over here. They, they're crossing the moat. They're walking the plank across the moat. They're going with iron bars. That's a bold move. Looks like one of them made it in. Definitely made it in. There's another death by star team and two deaths by star team. Ren and Doc both down. Ren oh. and Doc both down. Turtles coming off the board. Turtles yep. coming off the board. Current score, star team seven, G team four. And we have an infiltration going the opposite way now. Looks like the star team heading towards the G team. They're using the Enderpearl Scar. Bold move. Yeah, they've taken some damage out front here from all of the charged creepers. And I'm going to say it. I don't think G team has plugged the hole of the water cooler in the back where star team has infiltrated now three times into their base. Yep, yep. And I'm, I'm seeing some of the uh, aquatic nature of the G team in action here. They're going down the uh, the water elevator in the front. It's a pack of charged creeper heads. I don't know who they are. These are, wait, weapons are being deployed. They're <gasps> in the control room. Oh my and gosh. Sweet buttered crumpets. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. We got a firestorm going on. We got a firestorm going on. Looks like I Jevin is sort of in the <sighs> middle of it. He's on his own doing something over on this side. Coming back uh, underneath of us right now, around the back, and he's chasing, uh, no, Cleo is actually following him. I was actually just shot off by something. <laughs> what do you see, Scar? I was blown away by that storm of fire just flowing from G-Team is unbelievable. This is quite a fight. It looks like we have two members emerging from the base, dodging and weaving a zombie, but may potentially be driven right into one of Concorp's very own traps. <gasps> Whoa, mm -hmm, we just had a mm -hmm. spawn of two creepers now. Zombie Cleo just dodged a trap. One of her lone cats here down at the bottom. She's entering the trenches, being attacked now by a skeleton. She Ooh, is a woman with a Cleo. mission, and she will not be stopped by one, two, three creepers, nor a skeleton. Into the caves now. Wow. Into the caves, yeah, and Zombie Cleo, man, she has made the advancement hot stuff. Let me tell you, if the if the apocalypse comes, Scar, I want to be in a bunker made of Zombie Cleo's face. She is tough out there. She is tough out there. Jeez. Who else do we have down here? Jevin fighting skeletons. Mobs seem to be a major problem out here on the, the battlefield Jevster right now. Jevster the tank. He just took on two skeletons, now a zombie, and dodged two Concorp traps. Wow. A zombie just threw him into a hole, and he dodged and weaved that hole like crazy. Dodged another creeper as he goes around the premature drone strike. Apparently there was a glitch in the Concorp system at the time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely a glitch in the Concorp system. Jevin's still battling, battling creepers. You know what it's time for, Scar. Let's grab a piece of cake out of here. Let's get some cake. Time for a cake break. <sighs> Good. Just real gonna... quickly. Just oh, place it down stuff. there. There you go. I like that. There you go. I like Just that. Just delicious. Just absolutely wonderful. All right, back to the battlefield now. <laughs> back to the battlefield. We got, uh, who do we have over here? We this have... is an interesting development. Non-playable characters are using the bridges built by G-Team, and he fell off. I, Jevin the Tank, once again just getting pounded, but maintaining man, composure. Oh Doc up we, there, undefeated. We thought Jevin would might be like crying for mercy from the gas cannon here, but in fact, it is mercy crying for I, Jevin. Look at him just standing up against that gas cannon, basically solo, basically solo. One of the bravest acts of heroism towards a team I've ever seen. Iskull, no, it is Rendog coming in to Ren finish in. Jevin off, but Jevin once again comes through for G-Team and pulls out the victory on that one, pushes Rendog back into a hole. Wow, unbelievable.
Yep, Ren looks like he might be in trouble here against Jevin. Jevin, expert PvP -er. He's got Ren on fire and running. We're having oh, we got we got some action near our Oh, oh Ren Dog okay. is down. Take one there turtle down off that board. Send him there back to David Jones's locker. Alright, that's star six. G Team 4. We got a battle, ladies and gentlemen. We got a battle now. We come back to the battlefield with new information that a sneaky green potentially using invisibility potions by stealth infiltrated the base and has a flag, but we do not see him yet, hence being invisible. Bolse was slain by Iskal, Asuma was slain by Stress, and that that is a couple more deaths. So we have, let's see, Iskal on the G-team went down and Stress on the G-team went down. So G-team down to two now. So we now have Star, uh, we have, let's see... Oh, false was slain by yeah. Okay, you got it. You got it. Yeah. 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 So two, uh, five. Two five. Two to five. Flag captured. Green. Oh, we've got action over here at the broadcast center down below. There is a fight brewing with Ijevan and Wells Knight, alerting the Concorp defenses. Oh, it looks like Ijevan has this. popped a potion, and he's being assisted by multiple other teammates. Doc and Ren Dog have sent them down into the Concorp shop there. Which can be looted. That's true. That's oh. true. Jevin slain by Wells as well. Look out. That brings they it down to one live left for G Team. Wow. All right. G Team only one left. And there, there it goes. Zombie Cleo. Zombie Cleo went down and. Uh, no, sorry. Doc, was, Doc went down and Impulse. So two star teams. Two, tar, two star team deaths. Let's oh, take those these are down. two turtles. Try to keep track of who's on go. which team. <laughs> I think we took down three. Oh, there. that's too many turtles. We're getting we're getting over 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 anxious there with the turtle go. action. <laughs> nice, nice, fantastic. And I'm not sure. Is this is it over? It may be over. Pull the lever. Oh, jeez. Oh, get on the boat. Attack? Quick, get oh, in the boat. Come, we gotta go. We gotta go. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. We're out of here. We're out of here. Go, 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 go. Oh, the land boat. No. The land boat. <laughs> no, come. Gotta rely on the land boats now, Scar. That's all we got. That's all we got. We're under attack. Yeah, Come fly up to the machine. We gotta go. We gotta go. Are you on it? Oh, okay, I'm I see on you. It. I see you. Fly all right, up. I'm coming. I'm coming. We gotta make our escape. We gotta retire to the golf course. Ah, <sighs> the Concorp flying machine here, guys, has been defeated by a turret and chicken. Potentially poultry Scar. man, but I don't. <gasps> Scar. Hey. Cobb, you're alive. Here. Cobb, you're I alive. Made it. I made it somehow. My boat got destroyed by a drown, but I made it somehow, man. I made it. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm stuck here, Cub. Like, I'm stuck at this giant turret. There's a chicken. It's giving me a lot of looks. It laid an egg. It's making me feel uncomfortable. I, oh my gosh. Let me, I, let me come I, down I there. Oh. I thought you said this was going to the golf course. Oh, well, I mean, it was, but, you know, Falls just had to build this giant, beautiful turret in the way. She's the wheeze. Oh, yep. Yep, she got us. She got us. It looks like the turret yep. has a runny nose. Like, it's very... Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we got away, man. We got away from the explosion. They didn't get us. We got <sighs> all the diamonds. Time to retire, man. We got to get to that golf course. I'm so happy to retire with all of our beautiful diamonds. And especially being the victors and the winners, truly, of the war. Indeed, indeed. Now time to relax with some cake and some golf. Ah, uh, sweet, sweet retirement. Nothing like it, Scar. Nothing like it. Ah, uh, it feels good to be back here at the golf course, relaxing in our little restaurant here. After a long day, I have the, looks like I have a steak and you have the vegetarian option for dinner tonight. Yeah, I went for the cake instead though. So, uh, I, you know, why not? You know, we're, we're retired now. We're totally done with everything on the main Hermitcraft Island. Mm -hmm. Just sitting out here, you know, no shops to worry about. All our shops closed down. And yeah. It's yep. good to just be here. So we got some projects still to do out here in our retirement. Now that we won the war, we're the true winners. Clearly evident by our inventories and our hands. Look at the size of those diamond blocks you have over there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Plenty, plenty where this came from as well. Like, so many diamond blocks, we can't even begin to count them. Just crazy amounts of diamonds. Awesome. Oh, it's glorious. It is glorious. So what do we still have to do over here? But not in any rush, because retired people don't need to rush around or anything along those lines. Yeah, also, good news, uh, G-Team came in second, so that means that we get to keep all the diamonds that uh, the, the Star Team bet, so we get to get even more diamonds from that, so we ended up on top that way as well, so we need to privatize this, members only, keep the riffraff out, you know how it is. Yep. Uh, we also need, we need to finish the golf course and the clubhouse here. There is no place to use the restroom here. 
it has been a problem since day one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have plenty of stuff to eat, like cake and stuff, but no place, no place to go poop. You know, we should have stole one of G Team's um, pig toilets on the way out. Yeah, we should have definitely done that. And also, we need to maybe build some retirement homes out here on the course. Oh. Because, you know, we're, we're going to be out here for a while, you know, enjoying retirement, enjoying our wealth. So, uh, yeah, we got to build some retirement homes, I think. I like the sound of that. We can use a little bit of our winnings from the war for that, which will be really nice. And yeah, so bathrooms, houses, and a few other things around here as we sit back and relax in our little retirement community as winners. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at this. Just beautiful diamonds. <laughs> All diamonds now. Just wonderful. Just wonderful. <laughs> this is going to be great. We got games here. We got food here in the restaurant. We got all the facilities we need to live out here in our retirement. Music